This experiment is about finding an estimate of the latent heat of fusion of ice using some simple lab equipment. I have here a, a balance, a styrofoam cup, a thermometer, some ice, and some water at room temperature. Latent heat of fusion refers to the heat per unit mass needed to turn a substance from solid state to liquid state or the other way around. In this specific case, what I'm interested in is to find out how much heat is needed to turn one gram of ice at zero degrees Celsius into one gram of water at zero degrees Celsius. I'm going to reposition the camera so you have a better view of the experimental setup. So let's get started. I'm going to pour some water into the styrofoam cup. And I'm going to write down the mass of water is 131.07 grams. The other quantity that I need is the temperature of water. I need to wait a little bit until the thermal equilibrium is being established between the thermometer and the water. So the temperature of the water is 23 degrees. Now I have some ice that has been in the room for several minutes. Therefore I assume that the temperature of ice is close to zero because it started melting. I'll tear the balance again. So the mass of what of, of ice is ten point two seven grams. To avoid the heat exchange with the surroundings, I'm going to put the lid on and gently shake the cup. And I'll have to measure the temperature when the ice cube is completely melted. The ice has now melted completely and the temperature is just above 16 degrees. I would estimate 16.1 degrees Celsius. Let's now calculate the latent heat of fusion of ice. In order to be able to calculate the latent heat of fusion of ice, you need to understand the heat exchange that occurs inside this uh, styrofoam cup. We work under the assumption that the heat exchange occurs between the ice cube and the water inside the cup and there is no heat loss to the surroundings or heat transfer from the surroundings to the content of the cup. What happens inside the cup is that the water that started at room temperature is now cooled down after we put the ice cube in and that heat is gained by the ice cube which first is melted so it turns from ice at zero into water at zero and then that cold water is warmed up to the final temperature of the mixture until thermal equilibrium is being reached. The equations used to calculate the latent heat of fusion of ice are shown on the screen. The result is L equals 300 joules per gram. The accepted literature value for the latent heat of fusion of ice is approximately 334 joules per gram. So our result is not that far from the accepted value. 